rough day. You have no idea. I just might. That's the second bottle you've downed. Jai Hidari. Falco sends his regards. And what does that unholy scion of a Grox and a Brahan want from me this time? Oh, wait, I don't really care. My sole plans for tonight are drowning my grief in a sea of Amasak. We'll give you grief, all right. Get out! <sighs> don't think so, Ashman. And tell Falco to come himself next time. Dory, I am tired of your mess. Ow! Get some sleep. We'll talk about settling up later. Octi Sherin, light of my eyes. Can't you see my soul is full of sadness? Have you no horse at all? Let go of your material concerns and let me grieve in peace. Have we met somewhere before? Greeting, Sherin. With whom do I have the honor of speaking? <clears throat> Von Phalantius. My deepest, humblest regards, your ladyship. I never would have imagined I'd be standing at the bar, in the Amasekus, next to an honest-to-God Emperor Rogue trader. Jai Hedari at your service. Professional trader, shrewd commercial broker, and, may I she steal my tongue if I'm lying, the most honest dealer on footfall. Nonetheless, we all have our problems, and at times even one's many merits aren't enough to solve them. Perhaps it would be no trouble for a person with your kind of power and standing to assist someone with my kind of predicament. I have heard a great deal about how... Uh, Open-minded the members of the Von Falancius dynasty are, and Lady Theodora especially. <clears throat> She's a cold trader, a smuggler who deals in Xenos artifacts. Apart from this heresy, I know of no other grave crimes committed by her. Goods of incredible rarity, Sherim. But it's not just that. Two dozen of my people lost their lives in the impenetrable emptiness of the void to acquire them. I cannot leave their families with nothing. I thought we were on the same page from the start, Sherine. Uh, please accept my sincerest apologies if that is not the case, and allow me to explain myself. If I had told you directly, you would have become, shall we say, complicit. But since those illicit words did not escape my lips, you would hypothetically be agreeing merely to help me recapture a few containers. And if the Aji suddenly decided to thwart our plans, then all the Void Dogs would be unleashed on me alone. My sincerest wish was to protect you from any unnecessary trouble, Sherin. I swear by the Exalted One. Ask as many as you wish, Sherin. Trust is the key to a successful endeavor. You see, Sherin, there's one cardinal rule on football. Anything goes, as long as it doesn't get in the way of business. I'm someone who's been able to exploit that rule to the fullest. And in recent years, I've hit it so big, I've become a speck of sand in someone's green eye. They used to throw small wrenches into my dealings here and there. Well, now they've decided to really put their backs into it. Some rats stole my cargo and dragged it off to the seediest part of the Shadow Quarters. A crummy place even for connoisseurs of football's unique atmosphere. When I asked the leech for protection, we had a mutual misunderstanding. I believe Vladayim, in a most lamentable fashion, has forgotten his duties as guardian of the downtrodden and wronged. So I'm in desperate need of a new one. And you, Sherin, fit the bill perfectly. All I need is for you to drop by one dark corner of Football Shadow Quarters and pound it into the thieves' heads that taking Hedari's property carries certain risks.
May the Exalted One bless you and your progeny. Then here's what we'll do. We shouldn't be seen together before we make it to the safe house. I'll head there first. I'll take my own special route so I won't be spotted. Right. Here, that's where those Ashmads are keeping the stolen cargo. Out the bar, over the bridge, and to the left. There, in the depths, you'll find a small courtyard through which you can get to the place. I'll be waiting nearby. You can come when it suits you, but the sooner you do, the better. I'll see you then, Sherin. <laughs>